Well, hello, good afternoon. For once we get to do an afternoon class. Do we even have a special guest today? Joe McDermott with Cuba Casa is here with us. Very exciting, absolutely love it. Hey everyone, good afternoon. All right, so we still have a few more people logging on. I wanna give them just a minute. Most everybody knows that we start on time, but just can't always manage to get here themselves, which we understand that it, it does happen. So for you guys who are already here on the webinar, don't forget to download the handout that's located on the right-hand side of your screen. If your go-to webinar panel is collapsed, just tap that little orange button at the top, little orange arrow. It'll open it up. There's only one handout in there. It's all you really need. All right, well, you know, let's go ahead and get started. We've got a lot of, it's not really a long webinar, but there's a lot of cool things in Cuba Casa that we want to talk to you about today. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and go off screen so you guys can see the entire PowerPoint presentation that Cuba Casa was nice enough to send to me. So today we are going to walk through a few things. Like number one, what is Cuba Casa, the value of floor plans and why they're important to your listings, what we offer as a member benefit as part of our MLS partnership with Cuba Casa. Then we're gonna go over the member sign-up process and walk you through some of the product itself. And then to wrap things up, we'll open up the floor for Q&A uh, with Joe McDermott, the strategic sales manager with Cuba Casa. Very awesome. So Cuba Casa has one main goal here in the United States, is to bring a floor plan to every single real estate listing. To start off with, let's talk about the why behind that. So Cuba Casa saw a floor plan demand gap. Both home buyers and home sellers are asking for floor plans to be included on their listing, but only about 10% of the listings in the US have a floor plan, which does not compare to other countries around the world. And even here in the US, we see the gap between rental properties and traditional for sale properties. Almost every rental property you look at will have a floor plan, so we can already see the value. But how do we know that value translates over to the traditional real estate and that floor plans are just as important? If we look at the NAR Home Buyers and Home Sellers survey, you can see what website features on a listing are considered the most valuable. Your survey is over here on the right. The demand is there, and the results from the survey for last year have remained much the same. Floor plans are always the top desired add-on. They're already such an important asset for renters, and they should be just as important for purchasers. So you'll see behind photos, and the detailed information about properties, that third and first behind the basic information is those floor plans. But why are floor plans important? They provide an easy way for buyers to understand a property's fit for their life better than any other digital asset. The reason why we say that is if you're on a search portal and you look at the property photos, you're going to learn about the home room by room or piece by piece. But a floor plan gives an easy to view and understand quick glimpse into the entire property. It allows you to see how big the rooms are and the flow between them. You can learn if your furniture will fit. And most importantly, you'll learn if the property layout suits you and your family's needs. Are the kids' bedrooms nearby? Uh, is a spare room we could use for an office or space or guests? Things like that. So a floor plan is really the best way to understand the property and make sense of those questions. So now that I got you thinking about the benefits in floor, of floor plans in general, why should you add them to your listings? It's an easy way to stand out and win more listings. By offering floor plans and better media in general to, <clears throat> in your listing presentation, you're showing the potential client that you'll do everything to market their home and get it sold. It will allow you to generate more qualified buyers. Most people look online at properties before deciding to tour in person, 
especially since COVID, shifted the home buying process. Essentially, they're qualifying the home before they even contact their agent. And lastly, the more media we can give to potential buyers, the more understanding they have of a property, which will ultimately reduce the time on the market. <clears throat> so we've talked about floor plans in general at a high level. So how does this lead into what Cuba Casa is? A little bit, little bit of background of Cuba Casa. They were founded about nine years ago in Finland. I know, really cool. At that time, they served as a redraw service. Agents and photographers would send in a picture of a floor plan. It may have been a photo or someone's sketch with measurements or an old property listing, and the floor plan would be redrawn from that. So as they continued expanding with clients all over the world, they wanted to modernize the process and broaden the scope of people who had access to create floor plans. And what better way to do so than with a tool that's already on them at all times, their cell phone. So Cuba Casa started building an app that would allow the user to quickly and easily scan a property, which then gets processed into an accurate floor plan, including room measurements, which is awesome. So no more tape measures all over the place. <clears throat> so how does the app work? Well, it's probably easier than you might be thinking. As you can see from the image on the right, you simply open the app, and walk at the perimeter of each room of the home. So it'll take you about five to 10 minutes for an average size home. Right now, the average scan takes about six minutes for a 2,200 square foot home. You don't need any special training or equipment, just the phone in your pocket and the Cuba Casa app. It works both on Apple and Android. You know, most devices from the last seven, eight years or so will work great. So you don't have to have the latest and greatest models you know, even those the newer iPhone Pros, including the LiDAR, those do help make things a bit more precise, but it's not required. So the app gives you real-time in-app feedback to ensure you're scanning correctly. So if you're moving too quickly or if you're too close to a wall, you'll see an overlay on the screen so you know what needs to be adjusted. That's as easy as it gets. To give you a visual of how the app works and what is happening underneath the hood, let's take a quick look at a video of an actual scan. All right, so bear with me one second while I change screens here. And I will open the video for you guys and play that. So you'll see on the top left, that's the view of the camera. So as you're walking around scanning the property, this is exactly what you'll see on the screen. On the bottom left, you'll see what's being captured in real time using the augmented reality kits in the phone to create a point cloud. Then on the right, you'll see the full 3D digital footprint that's being created in the property. The green line that you see is actually the route the person took through the home. And then you'll see a red diamond shape that's capturing the device's position. So what you see on the bottom left and the right hand side will not be visible in the app. This is the background process in Cuba Casa does to capture all the details and create the floor plan for the entire property, including any outdoor spaces. And there's your finished product. It's around 1,200 square feet and was captured in about three minutes. Now you can see it's a pretty simple process. All right, let's go back to our PowerPoint here. Very nice. I love the graphics that they provide. Cuba Casa also has some really great videos on their on their site, just so you know, it's always awesome. 
So Cuba Casa also works on these complex properties and of course those high-end properties as well. This home is a non-traditional layout, which includes a pool, separate dwelling off the main home. The scanning process will, catch, will capture any angled walls, features, or those separate dwellings as you see. And here's a big key, you'll capture them all in one scan. So this is a home in Pennsylvania. It's a shoe that you can rent out on Airbnb. <laughs> the floor plan was submitted by a real estate photographer in the Cuba Casa network. And it's a great example of how unique and diverse properties can be and that the app can capture and create a floor plan for just about anything. <laughs> I love it. So what are the benefits as part of our My Real Source Cuba Casa partnership? You'll get as many basic floor plans as you can create for free, as long as the total scanned area is under 5,000 square feet. Now, when I say total scanned area, anything that you scan, you know, it's not gonna be the, the regular square footage of the home, it's gonna be plus the basement, plus the garage, plus anything else. So anything that you scan is included. And don't forget, the basic floor plan is a great option for both agents and photographers alike. It includes that 5,000 square feet, as I said, including all the outdoor spaces that are scanned, the room dimensions and labels, the gross internal area, and it will be turned around within 24 hours of you submitting the scan. And you'll also have the option to customize your room names and change up the colors, which we'll take a closer look at in a moment. So on top of the basic floor plan, there are a number of optional paid add-ons that you can choose as an a la carte basis. So you can add in the fixed furniture. So you'll see here's the fixed furniture and it has the, there's the stove that kind of faded over there but you'll see bathtubs, sinks, things like that. Those are your fixed furniture. The GLA appraisal floor plan, which we'll take a closer look at in a minute, gives you the gross living area of the, pro of the property. It's great for any appraiser who are my real source members. And it gives you a single document you can save as a PDF and upload to your appraisal software. So you can also choose to get a faster, Delivery, little turnaround time, a six hour delivery as well. And lastly, the basic floor plan includes scans up to 5,000 square feet, which includes the outdoor areas. I can't stress that enough. The basement, garage. So anything above that will include a charge due to the increased production cost, which, you know, we get it. So, and all the prices listed here are the standard rates. So as part of the My Real Source Cuba Casa partnership, you're going to see a 25% discount. So adding that fixed furniture will only cost you $11.25 if it's under the 5,000 square feet. And of course, Cuba Casa has some exciting news. They've recently launched the new 3D products. Before, they were, were, they were a slow roll that was gradually going out to all Cuba Casa users over the coming weeks. We just got an email saying that it has been released to everybody. So you get that 3D floor plan. You get a 3D video render. And there's a bundle here as well. You can also do the CAD output. So if you're doing things like interior design and renderings and um, renovations, you can upload this into your software program. And with those 3D products, you always get that free 2D floor plan with every 3D order. So here's those new products. Free with the first scan, of course, you get everything that gets included on that very first scan. Everything. You get that with the 3D package, you get the 2D, 2D floor plan, the fixed furniture, and of course the GLA and the six hour turnaround are additional. The 3D floor plan is 35, and then adding the additional furniture is 15. 
You can do those colors and textures like I saw on the last screen. Here's those colors and textures, really cool. And that's with furniture. So not just the fixed furniture, this includes furniture. And of course there's that 3D video render. And in the email, in the email that they just sent out to the membership, it has a video rendering, the 3D video render of the Barbie house. <laughs> I had to take a peek at it, it was too cute. And of course they're gonna offer a great bundle, which we greatly appreciate that. And so if you were to get the 3D floor plan with the furniture, the colors and the textures and the video render, it would cost 164, but the bundled price is 129. Of course, CAD files are in there as well. So, as I mentioned, we would get into the, the GLA reports. This is one of the additional products on top of the basic floor plan. Cubicasa is able to deliver consistent GLA results that are aligned to the ANSI standards. The floor plan image and area cal calculations are all in one single report, so it's perfect for appraisers as it gives you everything you need, including things like non-livable areas, storage, non-heated areas, and it takes into account wall thickness for overall dimensions. And you'll also see exterior, uh, ingress, egress, and above below ground spaces. Now, something you can do on both the basic floor plan and those with the add-ons is customizations. So you'll see this isn't just the plain old black and white. You don't need to stick with that simple black and white. You can customize each one, whether you choose to go with one of the pre-made templates or come up with your own. I was playing with mine. And I don't know what it's going to look like. I've, I've made some funny color choices in there, and I'm sure it's interesting. You can adjust those room labels if you want to call it the, the playroom, the great room, the office, the den. You can call them what you need. Lastly, you can add in your own logo and adjust the colors to match your broker branding, which is great to create marketing materials, whether it be for a Facebook post or a printout or an open house. Ooh, how about adding it into your cloud CMA property report? to go out after an open house, not a bad idea. So you're able to save multiple versions of each floor plan, upload a PNG, a JPEG to your photos, or a PDF to your associated doc, so it doesn't matter where you put them. So in this example here, you'll see one of the pre-made temp templates mm -hmm. in earth tones. Bedrooms are all in a clay type color, common areas in a light yellow, and the bathrooms in blue. So it just further enhances that simple high level view and understanding of the layout of the property. Now this may seem like a lot, we know it is, and you can do a lot. The good news is that Cuba Casa offers 24 seven support through their live chat widget on the site or a dedicated MLS email at mlshelp at cubacasa.com. Either will connect you directly to their customer success and support team, and they're here to guide you through any hiccups you may be experiencing. Moving on to the next steps. Sign up, scan, and upload. It is that easy. So let's walk through the sign up process to ensure your account is created and affiliated with my real source so you're getting that 25% discount. You'll find the link in Paragon. I know this is shocking, but it's under the resources icon, and they go right down to Cuba Casa floor plans. So you'll sign up by entering your email address on file with us, and you're going to want to select only agent or appraiser. Those are the ways that you are going to get the discounts with us. Okay, and then from there, download the app, start scanning. So once you've received your floor plan, you'll be able to download it in a number of different file formats, both image and PDFs. It doesn't matter you know, how you like to use it, you can do it that way, it's great. And that's just a screenshot of when I downloaded Cuba Casa. So you'll notice the branding, so you've got the right one. 
Okay, so that gives you a glimpse into how you'll use Kubacasa to enhance your listings, improve the consumer search experience by providing floor plans for all of your listings. So I do want to open it to any questions you might have because I also do have time to show you the new email that just came out. So let me do that for you. Ha, there she is. Cubacasa just came out. Oh, sorry, it was yesterday. Not today's email. This was yesterday's email at 2 o'clock. 3D floor plans have been introduced to everybody, which is great. There's the furniture in there as well, the textures. Here's one thing that I did sign up for as well. They have a webinar going, it's actually a Zoom meeting on August 24th at 12 o'clock. I've already signed up. I want to get a good, good glimpse at it. And of course, here is the Barbie Dreamhouse 3D video walkthrough render. <laughs> so I'm excited. So if you have any questions, if you want, you can unmute yourself. If you wanted information on actually the live, we can go. I have a few more minutes left in class if you'd like to see that. So while we are waiting on any questions to come in, let's go ahead and share my Paragon. And remember, it's under the resources icon. So I'm going to tap open my resources. The bottom left, you'll see Cuba Casa floor plans. Here's your one. Sign up, scan, and done. You saw this in the PowerPoint. Now, of course, mine's already going to come in. You would tap next, and it, then it would go to the screen of are you an appraiser or an agent. So those are your only two options that will work for you. I'm going to log in instead. From the dashboard, you can see most everything that's going on. There's my orders here at the bottom as well. I can create an order here from a blueprint or I just go scan from my app. Again, here's all of my orders, of course, but you'll also find in the settings, which I really liked, your general, which is what MLS are you associated with, which is us. My MLS membership gives me that 25% discount, really nice. You'll put a credit card on file, but I really do like that you can add the account defaults. Deliver my, my delivery email address, of course, here. Here's the things I always want to, um, I do have enabled on my account. And what I did say, I want a default add-on of those fixed furniture. So pretty nice. Going back up to the top, let's go down to styling, where this is, yes, where I created my own default. I don't know what it's going to look like because it's just pretty funny colors. <laughs> but it's a great app. So I do have a poll to launch. It's a nice quick question for you guys. All right, looks like we got a few in. We have got none as of yet. Nobody has been putting any scans in there. So this is a, a very rhetorical question, but I'm still going to ask it. Will you be using Cuba Casa on your next listing? And even though in this market they generally don't hang around for long, but it's still a great idea. So in what, what the staff has done at My Real Source, most everybody you know, did their own home. So we wanted to take a peek and see how it's used. So one of the things we do remind you is, oh, of course, and those are some yeses. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for voting. So of the things, in Cubicasa, so we do have their support. We'll get you to, of course, their support. But they've got some best policies and best practices on how to do your scans. My first one is it has to be done in all one scan. So go into the home, open up all the doors, and turn on all the lights. Of course, I failed to do this and was trying to open doors with my feet and I'm struggling through it. It does happen, but take my advice. Don't do it the hard way. Do it the easy way. Open them all up. 
and then go from plan your your path through the home. I would come, what I would do, I'd start at the lower level, so I did my basement. I came up the stairs using the scan as well. And you're gonna be pointing it towards you know, the floorboard and anywhere from three to 11 feet is fine away from that. Do it one around the basement, up the stairs, the first level. Then I went outside around the front door to the side door around the backyard to do the pool so it, they would see what was going on. And then I came back inside, went up the stairs and then did the second story and just hit all of theirs. Any small rooms, you just go in and come right back out. So just make it easy. All right. So do we do we any questions at all out there? So I guess, you know, it, it's pretty straightforward until you start working in it. And Joe, if you had anything to chime in, I'd love to hear your thoughts too on any best practices. Yeah, so just to touch on a couple of frequently asked questions that we get, um, one of the main ones is, do I need a strong cell connection when I'm actually doing the scan? And the answer is no. You do need a connection to submit the scan to us after the fact, but if you have poor cell coverage or you're not on Wi-Fi, whatever the case may be, um, you can still absolutely capture the scan and it will save on your device within the app. And then you'll be able to submit it to us after the fact. And actually sometimes we encourage you to put your phone on airplane mode or something like that when you do the scan. Um, I know one of my colleagues, Eric, does that every time. So he doesn't get phone calls or you know pop-up notifications or anything while he's doing the scan and can just kind of focus on that. Um, so that's just something to highlight. That's one of the, the main questions that we get and then one of the other ones is just regarding, you know, what devices can be used and accuracy for those devices. So in the Help Center, um, which is pulled up on the screen here right now, there's a list of supported devices. Um, Debbie mentioned this, but really any device from the last like eight years or so will work. Android does have more phone manufacturers. So if for some reason your device is not on that list, just let us know and we can beta test it and make sure it will work for you. Um, but it should work with no problems. And then as far as accuracy goes, you're gonna see anywhere from 95% plus for Android devices and those older iPhones, and then the newer iPhone Pros that have LiDAR, the laser scanning. Um, Debbie mentioned this, but those are a little bit more precise, so you'll see anywhere from 97% plus um, accuracy there. So it'll be super close regardless of, of what device you're using. Thank you, Joe. We appreciate that. Yeah, All right. If there's there's no more questions, I think we are good. So thank you everybody for attending today. And we're looking forward to seeing you on the next webinar. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Debbie. Appreciate it. Bye. Take care.